now. Spit up. back to my channel if you're new here my name's Olora I make motherhood and lifestyle content don't forget to subscribe down below if you haven't done that yet I took a little break off of YouTube as you might have seen and I am now picking up the camera again and filming and I should be consistently posting from here on out no promises though because I'm still adjusting to life with two children and it has actually gone way easier than I expected but we still have our hiccups here and there. I'll have to catch you guys up on kind of how my postpartum has been going. Um, really like no complaints. I feel like this postpartum has gone a lot smoother than my last one, but it's because I've gone through this before. It's not my first rodeo. You want to come in? It's not as good as the It's the red flag. My children, it's my daughter just started. Anyways, if you hear talking in the background and little baby toots, that is my children and um, that is just life lately. So just a quick recap on how my postpartum has been going. I am currently almost two weeks postpartum and I feel like myself, if I'm being totally honest, I'm not in pain. I quit my pain meds probably a week ago. The afterbirth bleeding is pretty much gone for the most part. Um, it's not nearly as heavy as it was. Really, like I have nothing to complain about. It has been a very, very nice time of recovery. My husband was able to get about a week off of work, so that was nice, especially in the beginning when I was really, really sore. I'm also breastfeeding again this time around. I breastfed my first, and I will say my breastfeeding journey this time around is so much smoother than my last time. I honestly, everything's been perfect from the start. She's latched on perfectly since birth and my milk has come in no issues there which has been so nice because I struggled so much with my first with breastfeeding it was very very hard in the beginning there were a lot of emotional breakdowns during that period of my life I just it was so hard to navigate breastfeeding with my first we eventually got through it and so it's it's a blessing to be able to have a much better experience this time around do you want to read this book I'm just very, very thankful for how everything has been going. Woo! Okay, this is why I, I've i been using um, like mugs with a lid. I forget what you, like a travel mug, is that what you call this? I've been using travel mugs since, honestly, since I've given birth. And it has been a lifesaver. I think I'll be a travel mug gal for the foreseeable future because my toddler. I'm just gonna have to end this here. This he's really wanting to read some books, so we're gonna do that and I'll pick you guys up later. So I wanted to rave about this diaper caddy that I have. This thing is amazing. I wish I had this for my first. I made constant trips back to his room when he was a newborn to change his diaper and it was so inconvenient. I just carried this thing around with me all over the house. It usually stays in the living room during the day and then it's in my bedroom at night because that's where Ellery sleeps. So if you're pregnant or plan on being pregnant and, and wondering what to put on your registry, I highly recommend a diaper caddy because it's so nice. And what's nice about a diaper caddy too is actually the lady who bought it for me bought herself one she doesn't have she's a grandma now she does not have you know young kids anymore but she bought one for her car and so I was like wow that's like such a genius idea because when I'm done needing it as a diaper caddy it can be just kind of like an all-purpose organizational thing so this thing has multiple functions which I think is so cool but yeah I just had to give a little spot in my video towards this diaper caddy because I love it I love it and I wish I had put this on my registry for my first pregnancy. It has truly benefited me postpartum not having to make so many trips back to the, her room to change her diaper because I forgot, I literally forgot in the two years since having a newborn how much 
they poop. Like, you guys, I forgot how much newborns poop. And I, I'm just like, my mind is just like blown. It was just like, for some reason, shocking to me. It's so funny, like what you forget when you're in a different stage of their childhood. Like I'm in the toddler stage and I was like fully into that. And it's like, I just completely forgot what the newborn stage looks like. <laughs> and I'm like being reminded of just like how much diapers we go through when they're newborns. It is an absurd amount. Diaper caddy. I will link it down below if you are interested in it. As I was saying earlier, I think I mentioned something about um, how having two kids has been better than I expected and that's true. But if I'm being totally honest, um, I was going to go grocery shopping this morning and I totally chickened out. I can't, I can't do it right now. I just, I like, I can't. And a part of me feels really discouraged that I chickened out because I'm going to need to eventually figure it out. It's just, I don't think I'm just, it's just I'm not ready for that yet. I don't know. But then like I think of like the moms I see in public with like three kids, four kids, seeing her by herself, handling it like a champ. I just wonder how, I just wonder how these moms do it. I don't know. If you're a mom who takes all of her kids out in public by yourself, you're a superhero. I feel like I look at that and it, you, it's just like, they make it look so easy. They make it look so easy. And I, I can't even go out the door yet with two kids. I, I didn't even make it out the door. Like I chickened out before I could even put Ellery in her car seat. I'm scared. I'm so scared. I am, I'm scared and I'm very, very nervous to take two kids out in public by myself. I literally texted my husband asking him like, how do you feel about going grocery shopping after dinner tonight? It's okay, if it's okay if I cannot do it by myself yet. Um, and that's the beautiful thing about parenting with your spouse is you don't have to do it by yourself. You have someone there to help you. I'm very grateful for my husband. But I did take them both to the park yesterday and I was very proud of myself. Baby steps. We just got done with lunch. I am about to go through, I don't know if you can see, this basket of clothes. I upped Caspian's clothing size. We just went from a 12 to 18 month size clothing now to 2T, which tomorrow is Caspian's birthday. He's gonna be two years old, which just is like so bittersweet. I'm trying, I'm trying to have a better attitude about the aging of my kids. I need to go through these clothes, shove them in the drawer, like I mentioned in previous videos, I don't fold toddler clothes. I don't fold baby clothes. I just throw them in the drawer. It has been so nice, way less stress, way less time, and I will never go back. I will never, as I've mentioned before, ever fold another onesie in my life. <laughs>
Today is Caspian's second birthday and it's so bittersweet. I feel like, I think every parent feels like another birthday is bittersweet because their baby is just getting older and that can feel a little sad at times, but I'm also looking forward to him just growing up and I'm looking forward to like witnessing that and seeing him thrive as a person. Thinking tonight we'll go out for dinner to celebrate his birthday. It is now a new day and we just had a great evening last night as a family. We went to McDonald's for dinner because Caspian loves McDonald's fries. And so we went there for dinner and then went to the park afterwards just to let him roam. Caspian is our little explorer. He loves to just walk and walk and walk and he could just walk for miles, honestly, I wouldn't be surprised. He just loves exploring, and so we took him to a park that has a large piece of land. It's beautiful there. There's a hiking trail. It's just such a nice piece of land, and so we went there after dinner, and then we came home saying happy birthday and ate a cookie, and that is how we ended our evening yesterday. It was nice just to get out as a family of four and enjoy our time. Ellery is two weeks old today, which is just, Crazy. You were in my belly two weeks ago. Yeah. Mm. It's crazy. She is already in size one diapers. She completely outgrew the newborn diapers, which when she was born, the newborn diapers like barely fit her. I'm not used to that because my firstborn was just itty bitty. He was in newborn diapers for a lot longer than she was. She's my bigger baby. Yeah, you're my bigger baby. Every baby truly is different. Today's gonna be a good day because the sun is shining and we all woke up in really good moods. I can't ask for anything more. Oh, are you hungry? We are currently in the cluster feeding stage, so lots and lots of breastfeeding is happening. All right, we're gonna go feed this girly real quick. Glimmy day outside. We really don't have much planned from here on out, so I think I'm gonna end today's video here. Thank you guys so much for coming along with me as I Yay. navigate life with two kids. Whoa. Okay, girl. Okay. All right. Spit up. Have to spit up. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe down below, and I'll see you guys next week. Bye, friends. <laughs>